Good afternoon, folks. Big Bo with RVs with Big Bo and Parkway RV Center. It's a beautiful Saturday today, and I was going to shoot some videos, but I've got some plans later on, so I'm just going to do like I did here a few weeks ago. Let's just let's just drive around a lot on a golf cart, look at some of these golf, look at some of these RVs. Some of them I'm seeing for the first time myself. Kind of give you like a preview video of stuff I'll be shooting next week or two, and and probably adding more to it. So uh, hang tight, let me swap the mic inputs and let's take a drive. All right, everybody. Now we are starting on the travel trailers and I am very low on inventory on travel trailers. Um, let's pop in this Cougar right here real quick. Take a look at it. It's like an 18 Cougar x Lite, 32 9, three slide. I don't think I've done a video on this one yet. A 335 SAB, or have I? Okay, now I have it. This is the one we're waiting on a couch to come in. Uh, so as soon as I get the couch, or not the couch, but the table and chairs in, I'll do a video on this one, guys, but it's a rear lounge. And I'm doing these completely in the raw. I mean, we're looking at them like you would on the lot. Check out that kitchen. Solid surface countertops, and look at this, guys two refrigerators <laughs> definitely a uh uh definitely one if you like to cook um walk through bathroom front bedrooms like i got to put a mattress in it too but we'll put a new king size mattress in it new table and chairs in it got the crown roof other than that this is this is actually a nice unit um Probably put a TV in it too, I'm sure. So like I said, it's coming. Um, once I get everything ordered and installed in it, we'll have it, uh, we'll have it listed online. 32.9 complete. Let's look here. See what else we got. Like I said, guys, you're gonna see these things. I may even pull in the back service area and show you some of the ones that we're working on that'll be coming up for sale soon. You know, we still do what we do. We still put furniture in it and carpet if it needs it. We try to try to make them nice for you. Uh, let's walk down here. Well, 17 Mallard, I always like these. 20,995. Ultralight, Wind River sold by the way. Yeah, a lot of these trailers you, you'll see on this line are already sold. Uh. 29 feet total length and local unit bought new in Chattanooga 231 Mallard should be a front bed rear bath if I remember on a 231 yep let's see here front queen bed turn the light on nice little kitchen area i mean this is a smaller camper uh it does have a it will have a if it doesn't have a table in it i'll make sure to get one for you or have one made for you go right here um three burner stove top oven refrigerator not bad no smoker pet odors Okay, I know it's everybody wants stuff under 20 grand in a travel trailer right now, but that's pretty close and that's actually a pretty nice unit. So, got some class A's that just came in. Some folks picking up a Wildwood back there they bought. Uh, sold that Ace I did the other day, sitting in the under the carport waiting on a pickup let's see here got that mallard or we call them mallard if you want to make it sound real fancy wind river sold i did one that ever light little coachman apex hadn't seen this one yet rbk 215 so it's got the outdoor kitchen 
these are actually pretty lightweight campers here these are forest river coachman's and um let's see what this thing looks like i like an outside kitchen and i don't know if i get in this thing or not <laughs> well they must have it there it goes sometimes you gotta wiggle it just right like you got electric refrigerator sink uh probably have to put a little coleman a little 80 dollar coleman grill or something in it looks like it's got a slide out tray for that it's missing no biggie you can get those at walmart or amazon or wherever um power awning let's see here 215 rbk 215 square feet about 25 feet or so long Whew, a little dark in here uh front bedroom pl place for a tv table booth makes a bed it's a nice unit actually i may look better with some power on and some lights on but uh i do like this big rear bath now that's kind of nice for a small camper that is hmm Got a good price on this one, 16.9 with a slide. Got the big table booth and the slide, so it sleeps sleeps four, so it's pretty much a couple's model. Let's see what else we got out here. Like I said, guys, I'm gonna do full detailed videos on these things if they don't sell beforehand. But I just thought, hey, it's a pretty day, it's Saturday, let's ride around, see some cool stuff that just came in and um you never know what we'll discover out here you know i do this a couple times a day guys because you know they'll bring around stuff i didn't know we had let's see i think that's going to be it on the travel trailers ah, a little sportsman right there but i've done these two already or at least i've done pictures of them. i don't know if i've done videos i think i did one of this little sportsman too and I got a big lot of real estate out here. I need some inventory, guys. If you've got something for sale and it's nice, I don't want junk, but if it's nice, give us a call. 706-965-7929. Uh, we'll make you cash offer. Can even pick it up. No distance is too far for the right deal. Same way with y'all, I guess. Uh, Sunstar, little shorty Class A. Hatasco, Winnebago. Let's see here and guys i'm sorry i don't know all the exact specs and details like i said a lot of these i'm going in for the first time outside looks great hope that wind's not too bad on the mic 2011 ford v10 60,000 miles um it should be the 362 horse v10 the the hot rod one it does have power awning couple of slides don't know the exact model number but we'll look inside and see if we can figure it out I'll let my glasses adjust that's one thing i don't like about these transition lenses you go inside in and out it takes them a little bit to clear up when a bay go to be a fiberglass roof um Looks like about a 28, 29 footer, maybe 30. Looks like you got a table booth that makes a bed, sleeper sofa. Not bad. Probably about a six cubic foot RV refrigerator. Generator, queen bed in the back. Looks like we got one blind to fix over there. No big deal. We'll take care of that. Yeah. Not a bad. I mean, it's it's nothing fancy. It's it's a basic. I think it's probably going to be their entry level, but it's still a Winnebago, guys. Fiberglass roof. Uh, they make their own frames. They make 80% of their own parts in-house, so it's still a Winnebago. May just not be as fancy as some of them, but it gets the job done. Sleep 6, 59.9. I'll try to shoot this one next week, too. Let's 
see here. What else we got? Pursuits on. Done a video on that. I've done a video on most of these. If you go to my website, parkwayrvcenter.com, you can see them. Uh, Bounder, yeah, I've done that one. Dolphin sights here, so we're good to get on the golf cart. Man, it's a beautiful day. It's only about 65, 66 degrees out. It is a little windy, but nice. Dolphins already sold. I did the other day. Let's see here. Sightseer, pretty sure I've done that one. Uh, I know I've done that one. <laughs> fiesta, Fiesta, Fiesta. Don't think I've done it. Let's take a look at it. Pretty sure this is one of the ones they just brought around. Fat man squeeze. Ah. Nanny's Motor Home and Poppy Stew. 36T. This is a 2008 Fiesta. 50K miles. 49.9. One and a half floor plan. I don't know what that means. <laughs> Well, one floor plan and part of another. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> Looks like we just put new carpet in it. They haven't cleaned it yet. Um, oh, it's got one. It's got that split bath, the one and a half. Uh, not really a bath and a half, but it might be. We'll look when we get back here. Uh, Ford V10. It's clean. I mean, besides the carpet fibers everywhere. But hey, guys, that's 1200 bucks. You don't have to spend on it. It's not a bad unit for the money, for under 50 grand. Sofa makes a bed. Table booth, nice size TV. Microwave. Just an OTR microwave. Yeah, over the range. But you got an extra oven, too. Countertops look good walk to the bath let's see if it's just a split bath or if it's actually a full bath and a half oh a full bath and a half that's what that one and a half means um looks like somebody took the closet doors out of this one which sometimes people do that for some weird reason um i guess extra storage or you know a lot of people i guess you could even put like a desk right here or something like that that may have been what they did who knows Sometimes, it, that's the fun part about used RV sometimes, trying to interpret why somebody did this sometime in the past. Queen bed, full-size bed in the back. I'm assuming that curtain's for that closet. Decent-sized bathroom back here. Which, I mean, a rear bath's always going to be your most room. And look at this shower. Man, I'm a big guy. This thing is almost as big as the shower in my bathroom at home. I mean, this thing's very, very wide shower. So, uh, definitely call that close to a house size shower in a motorhome. Not bad, 49.9, bath and a half. Hey guys, this video, just a warning. It may be a little longer. Cause I'm planning to go through and just look at several units. This is another one. It's the first time I've stepped foot in it, so. Um. So we'll get that all cleaned up and uh, do a video on that hopefully here in the next week or so, if it doesn't so. Squeeze through. Let's see if I've got anything over here I missed. Or it just come in. Bounders already got sold road on it. Eh, an Admiral, and that's from the windows. See, you see the two windows right there in the slide out? That normally means a bunkhouse. Let's take a look at it. I don't remember this one. Like I said, we've been buying like crazy. Because we're selling like crazy. 
and uh, of course we're selling more than we're buying but let's see what this bad boy looks like and plus it's a holiday rambler too i'm always going to be a, a sucker for those this is one piece windshield 08 admiral two slides 54,000 miles workhorse chassis i'm assuming it's going to have like 5500 on end generator um it is a bunkhouse 32 35 feet long i'm sorry feels about right solid surface countertops table booth makes a bed couch makes a bed two bunks and original bed spread i always like to see that in one i know it's just silly but out there tells me chances are it hasn't been lived in when they still got the factory bed spread because it'd be worn out if they had uh, another sign that i look for of course a lot of times people change them out and throw them away anyway regardless but still my place for got a little tv right there closet bathroom decent size shower rv toilet 59.9 for no weight admiral that's not bad like i said i don't have the exact model number but um you know if you want to know anything you see on this video if you want to know any more details about it just call 706-965-7929 my salespeople will be happy to get your model number specs information anything you want to know about it send you additional pictures whatever you might need that one snuck in on me a lot of inventory guys even though it's low we've got more than most let's see i've done that one that encounter is pretty nice one i did the other day Terra for 32.9 got a monaco monarch for 39 now that's a good price for an 06 and this right here it's kind of funny the monarch is a sister brand of the holiday rambler admiral even though it's a couple years older uh what it is holiday rambler is owned by monaco coach at least it was back then so it's kind of like chevrolet and gmc pickup trucks you got sister brands and this is the exact same thing as a holiday rambler admiral it's just got a different name on it built the same all the equipment's the same this one's a different floor plan but ah somebody's left some air on in here Hey, that's always a welcome thing. It just don't help the electric bill. Uh, workhorse chassis, two slides, 36 feet long. And around 50,000 miles. Let's see here. Uh, air conditioner works. <laughs> it's nice and cool in here, even though it's not cold outside. I uh, got one blind we got to fix. Looks like somebody has changed the refrigerator out for an electric which actually it's already it's on it's cold got washer and dryer this would be rare for a class a gas no but it's got hookups for one that's i guess that's the next best thing because most class a gas ones don't have washer and dryer got another blind i'm, I'm gonna get to um i'll get my one of my crew in here to fix these blinds huh not bad it's a little tight going through the closet but you got a lot of extra storage space right here so i guess that's a pretty good trade-off and of course if you're my size you're not going to really notice it obviously they got this one plugged up skylight yeah this is actually a a nice coach i don't know um which one I like better, this or that Admiral I was just in. I guess it depends on if you need bunks or not. I'm gonna cut that air off though. Ain't no sense in the, no sense in running the electric bill up any higher. But I do like the price on this one. 39.9, that's actually a very good price. Windshield looks good, still got the one piece windshield. Huh. Let's go around, get back on the Goonie cart and 
we'll go look at some of the see if we got any diesels that just came in i know of one that came in that i'm that we just had new furniture made for that's a bunkhouse diesel that's pretty decent we'll walk in it then we'll scoot on over to see some of the b's and the c's guys i need inventory <laughs> wow i don't like seeing that much real estate it's funny because we've actually got a few more acres that we're wanting to develop but with building cost and labor cost and the fact that we can't get enough inventory to fill it up we've been kind of letting it grow up so i think all of these i've done individual videos on i'm pretty sure i have squeeze through here I got them a little side by side. Let's see, Spectre sold. All these I've done videos on, except one on the very end. And this is a diesel. And the reason we've had this for a couple weeks reason i haven't done a video on it because it had that flaking furniture problem this is the damon astoria and um just got it back yesterday the furniture spent about 23 2400 dollars having the front seats and the sofa redone reupholstered so i don't know if they've done this one or not but this is a 2008 damon astoria this is a bunkhouse for 79.9 with a 350 cummins motor and um 40 foot long a 3776 I, why they don't put the model number on the side of every one i don't know and looks like they haven't got the furniture back in just came back late yesterday so um matching reupholstered um front captain chairs and a another sofa is going back in here in fact looks like they got some of the cushions already in here so definitely getting all that done Corian countertops. Eight, that's an eight cubic foot or 10 refrigerator, two way RV. Uh, bunks, TV, Queen Island bed, and another bed, wash and dryer, maybe, maybe not, maybe not. Got the shelves in there. What's behind door number one? Got some sandals and a surfboard already reset up for you on the uh, on the board there. Now nah, this is nice actually. Guys, since we get the furniture installed in, definitely be shooting a video on this one. I mean, might be kind of hard to drive it like it is right now. I might, I mean, I'm sure it could be done, but might be a little bit uncomfortable. So got that one and guys again you want to jump on any of these before i do a full video call us 706-965-7929 we're not afraid to spend money on these like i said money you don't have to spend and it's back on up trying to hit nobody that's a pretty color scheme on that Astoria. Let me know in the comments what you think about this type of video. Too long, too much, too much detail. 340 horse Cummins. I'm sorry, not 350. Close enough. Let's scroll on down here, see what we got. Pretty sure I've got all the B's and C's covered except one. Uh, this one, I'm waiting on them to come in and paint some stripes on. here discovery sold that working place sold and this is actually kind of cool this is a class b camper van it's on a ford chassis an e350 one ton chassis as long as i don't my, my golf cart don't roll into the back of it uh we got to paint some stripes on it pleasure way this is 2011 pleasure way guys 
30,000 miles. And it's just got some cracked stripes. Obviously, they've had it some sunny areas of the country. But inside is always what tells the best. 30,000 miles. I'm not sure the motor size. It'll either be 2011. It's either going to be a 5.4. It could even be a V10 on a, on a 350 chassis. I don't know. Um, grilled the confection oven. Solid surface countertop. Somebody's been in here playing with it. Folded the bed out. That's actually a power sofa. Uh, cool cat. Air conditioner, heat pump. Bathroom. It looks like it's completely enclosed on the side. It is. I didn't even put Corian in the uh, bathroom. That's unusual. And this is a wet bath, so you shower. All that's enclosed. 67.9. And like I said, we're going to get this one all dolled up looking pretty for you and get those stripes painted for you and cleaned up and it's been a nice piece it's ford too you don't see many fords in a class b camper van most of them are gmc's or sprinters or pro masters or transit which i guess is technically a ford I love the camper vans, guys. It's kind of funny because I'm the biggest guy here. And when I'm shooting, I'm always bumping my head, hitting my shoulders, trying to keep from hollering in the video. But still my favorite type of RV to film. Um, let's go back here. And let's just circle. This one they're doing, finishing up a little work on, uh, putting carpet in, so I'm not going to go in it. But it is a 09 GTX. Guys, now this one's going to go quick. 37,000 miles, two sides. This is a Class A toy hauler for under $50,000. Guys, 50, under 50 for a Class A toy hauler. Probably not another one in the country that price. This one will be coming up next week as well. So... Uh, just they got to finish up the new car. It's a 3600 model number. That's neat, guys. Uh, GTX got the rear ramp door. Uh, guy in there signing up on this legend I did yesterday. At least I believe he is right now as we speak. Uh, service area, all this stuff sold except that Jayco Melbourne that I shot the other day. I've got most of these Class C's on, I think. I might have one here that I haven't shot. I just told her it was a Freedom Elite, but I've got like four of them, so I'm not going to go in every single one of them. Trying to remember which one I've done, which I haven't. Well, we'll, we'll uh, let's ride down the fifth wheel lot. A couple of Class C stragglers right here. That's actually a decent deal right here, guys. Freelander slide out 29.9 for a 06, I believe. And we're going to shoot across the... It's kind of funny, guys. This street right here is called Main Street. If you look up Main Street, Ringo, Georgia, it's this little, it's this little cut through road, and we're on the outskirts of town. Story behind it is, my grandfather, who built it, let me get out of the way, built this place. The, count, the uh, city wanted to buy this road because there's a few houses back there. My grandfather said he would give it to them if they called it Main Street. Hence... If you look up Main Street, Ringo, Georgia, it comes right through here. So technically we're on Main Street. He was a joker, so. But that was, I always thought that was kind of cool. Um, got some fifth wheels down here, guys. I know I only got maybe a six or seven on the website, but I do have a lot of these that just came in. This Crusader just came in. I think we got to get a room out on it or something, Durango Sport. I mean, I've got several of them down here. That's 24.9 for a triple slide Crusader, so 34.9 for a 33-foot uh, single slide Durango Sport that is a bunkhouse class, or a fifth wheel. I'm not going to go in that right now, but you know, you can see a lot of these on my website, parkwayrvcenter.com. May not have videos of them, but um, I do have several that... In fact, I may concentrate on a lot of these next week, so just hang tight for that chaparral. Man, how much? 
14 Chaparral for 29.9. Guys, that'll be a bargain. Huh. Anyway. Big Montana right there, front lounge for 59.9, I believe. Oh. And guys, down here is where a lot of stuff comes in that you know we, we bring them down here first and we wash them kind of go over them and i'm gonna give you a preview of this one now there's a la palma right there that'd be under 20 grand that we're cleaning up um be a little back row bargain la palma but guys this right here and it's all slid up this is a very unique motor home right here this is a newmar mid-engine diesel and I, we got to put a mirror on it got to do a few little things but now this is going to be a more specialty thing they're putting carpet in it so i'll show it to you the best i can or in the process anybody in here or in the process if i can get around these rolls of carpet they've got for it <laughs> sorry about that guys uh, this is completely unscripted and unplanned in case you couldn't tell this is nice but let me show you what's cool about it um bathroom right here this is a half bath with an outside shower <laughs> i told you this thing's unique and then you open this up and you've got another half bath <laughs> So technically it's a it's a bath and a half but all right here together and you walk out here this is what's unique well th this is pretty darn unique but uh check this out you may notice up kitchen up here that's your standard rv kitchen look back here this is actually and it's, it's slid in right now i'd slide it out this is actually a second outdoor kitchen and this is designed for somebody in the food service industry who wants to do mobile catering cooking events you've got the big refrigerator back here this is is something i don't know if that's an air conditioner some kind of ice maker i don't know i'll have to look at that later open this up and you can serve people now, ain't this cool and I, I know this is something 99 percent of you says who needs that but there's always that one percent guys don't have a price on it yet plus got a rear door too so if you don't i don't have a price on this one yet but it's really cool um probably the only one like it in the country and if you're interested in this again guys 706-965-7929 i got a second ac in here as well um place a so that's really kind of cool for somebody who needs this course you know you don't have a stationary bed you got a table booth and a sofa that makes a bed but uh that's just cool guys i like it and uh, we'll get this thing all buttoned up and fixed up and all that because it's very very unique and let's see if i can get around this without tripping and falling which would kind of make a funny blooper video, but not to me. You've got, you got to be pretty flexible in these RVs sometimes. Sometimes not as much as I'd want to be. There we go. Anyway, guys. Got some stuff in the shop they're working on. That one is just a cool one that we actually sent out west to pick up and um like i said probably not another one like it in the country and if you want to know price on it details about it 706-965-7929 all right guys um we'll make a quick drive through here um let's see here these are units that are ready to pick up or almost ready to pick up from customers so all these are sold waiting you know a lot of them just waiting to get picked up 
got a Damon Challenger just got in we got to redo some furniture and carpet on back row bargains is back here so those of you who come to the lot this is where they're all at got this old carriage for 89.95 a double slide carriage it's like we got to get one of the slides out uh chaparral bunkhouse for 12.9 and 06 with two slides and if you want to see pictures of those if i don't have them on the website you can you can call one of my salespeople be glad to help you all the rest of them should be on park models most of these are on the website um you know everybody laughed at me because i, I was buying these things up like crazy and had about 15 to 20 of these at one time i'm down to what six or seven so who's laughing now because you can't find them and they're not making them new right now because they take so much extra material that the manufacturers don't have so i actually have some used ones I, and no kidding aside guys i know these these are more of a specialty item it takes somebody looking for one to buy one not something the average rv shopper would buy but destination trailers or park models whatever you want to call them guys i probably got more used ones than anybody in the country just with these few right here as of right now i mean you can't buy them i got them and it looks like all of them are under forty thousand dollars and they're all pretty well late model ones yeah anyway guys i'll cut it off here um thank y'all for watching i really appreciate it um appreciate my thirty thousand subscribers let me know in the comments this video may sound like a train wreck i don't know i'm gonna publish it anyway i you know but um let me know what you think keep in mind you know we're family owned operated 53 years we have delivery service available for pretty much everything we sell contact us for a quote and if it's within 100 miles it's free complimentary with purchase and um so here's some of that property back here we actually own all this but we're kind of waiting until things get back to normal but we own all that through there to the tree line and and i'm just showing you future expansion issues there's our ramp truck we bought a couple of weeks ago to pick up these vans and stuff in um so that we can get these vans because a lot of times it's hard to tow something back behind a van and all that property to the tree line behind and there's our bar i swear guys i'm gonna do a video on it but i believe we're gonna keep it and add it to the collection we're getting a few things fixed on it so before we take it to the take it to the shop and we got all this property here so guys all this we're going to develop for more space for inventory to uh to serve you and possibly even build a huge shop back there i don't know yet but got a forester over there we just got into 59.9 we're doing some repairs too before we put it out here for sale in fact somebody's on it now but guys all this is coming in the future uh we've got a lot of big plans to expand this place but kind of keep it the same but could you imagine having 200 250 used rvs in one location it's coming as soon as we can buy them. so um <laughs> anyway guys thank you so much for watching i know this is a long long drawn out video but you know i like people to see occasionally we've got inventory not everything's on the website guys in fact i'm i'm probably heading out after an rv here shortly so i i'm I, we're shorthanded so i'm having to do other jobs besides advertising so i like to do these videos just to remind people hey you won't use rvs i got them i may be low on some things but i've got more than most dealers do right now and um thank you so much for watching i really appreciate it and again my 30,000 subscribers feel free to smash me a thumbs up feel free to comment share on social media i really appreciate each and every one of y'all i mean that um you know 12 years ago or 11 years ago when i started this doing this i never thought it'd be what it is today and it's helped our business grow it's helped me grow 
um, as a person and I love it guys you know when you do something you love you're a rich man even if you're not rich money wise but if you love what you're doing I, I call that somebody that's rich um, of course you'll see a lot of these that say sold on them too guys so I'm sorry I'm not trying to tease you or anything <laughs> um, but guys again thank you for watching so much feel free to comment share on social media subscribe to my YouTube channel RVs with Big Bo like my Facebook page RVs with Big Bo and look forward to seeing you here in beautiful Ringgold, Georgia.